After the assassination attempt of the former president, there have been calls for unity. The Fox Times' Berkeley Cromer shows us how one man is using music to bring people together. Bridging divides, bringing people together. We talk with a group of upstate leaders and people around the community about how they're putting politics aside and uniting. Hey, how you doing? You gonna come listen to some music? Go ahead and park and come listen to some music. Greenville musician Dwayne McMillan believes music has the power to heal. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Thank you. And you. <laughs> music unites us because you know why? It's a universal language. He says a song can transcend differences. And when I see all races of people, young, old, children, smiling, laughing, having a good time, it brings joy to my soul. Speaking to our shared humanity. God made us and created us all as equal beings. And there's nobody like superior than anybody else. Because if you look at God's way, that's how he would have it. That's what he says in his word. While McMillan spreads his message, playing for a downtown crowd, others are bringing people together in a house of worship. America is too hot right now. The thermostat has been cranked up a little too much during uh, not just this particular political season, but overall in the last eight years, I think we have seen a lot of volatility in this country, and I think we need to tone it down. Community leader Dr. U.A. Thompson leading a prayer vigil in Greenville. We need to seek remedies, seek solutions, uh, seek how we might unite, how we might be together, how we might express our individual uniqueness, but also cognizant of our own humanity. McMillan says it's time to bring down the heat. I'm very uh, uh, sad and sorry to hear about, you know, what happened to, you know, number 45, but um, it, uh, it is a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call to uh, stop rhetoric of violence, political violence, you know, and just, you know, come together as one. The gentleman that I heard about that died, I mean, and other people that got injured, you know, and for what? Why? And I truly believe, like, everybody has a right to believe how they believe. And what I think is uh, respect should be shown to those beliefs. McMillan's tip for putting differences aside. And I think if each one can reach one and teach one those values, I think we'll have a better tomorrow. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Mayor Knox White also speaking at the prayer vigil earlier, saying in Greenville, there has always been a tradition of people coming together. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.